was so close with and was part of the crew, died when the boat capsized while he was searching for the treasure. So Mel Fisher was this dive shop, he was like a dive shop pioneer. And he dreamt his whole life of, of going finding a treasure rumoured to be off the coast of Florida called Nuestra Sonora. Is that good? Is that good pronunciation? I think it's pretty good. So he went finding this treasure, and it was all like almost like this mythical treasure. Obviously, no one had ever found it because otherwise it wouldn't be at the bottom of the ocean. But finding treasure like that, this mythical treasure, is, is time consuming and expensive as hell. You've got to buy the kit, you've got to buy the bomb, you've got to pay the team. And it takes a big team as well, and he had no money. You know, Richard worked in a, a dive shop, so he went meeting some investors, and he had no skill pitching to investors, he had no experience in raising funds, and he got the funds. How? Pure confidence and passion. So there's a lesson in there in itself, isn't there? People follow those with passion, that's a write it down, there. write that one down. People follow those with passion. So, they had enough funds, basically, these investors, for a year. So they gave him the, the investment to, that would last him a year. So after 10 months of searching every day, and that weekend's off, it was seven days. 10 months of searching every single day, sifting through the sea floor, they found nothing. Nothing after 10 months, 300 days of searching the sea. Can you imagine how boring it is searching the ocean floor? Day one, day two, cool. Oh, well, there's some cool fish I've not seen before. Day 100, tip of these fish. So then, 11, month 11 came. And that resilience to keep going, that resilience to keep going after 10 months of nothing, I mean, that takes some doing, doesn't it? So feel free to unmute yourselves, team, or drop in the chat box. Month 11, what happened next? 10 months of persistence in, scrolling through that ocean floor, and then month 11, what happened next? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing happened at month 11. So 12 months, now check this out, on the very last day, with the last bit of funds, this is the last day of the 12 months, okay, with those last bit of funds, that perseverance, pushed through month 11, it was tough. What did they find? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So now they have to go back to the investors and convince them. And despite no results, not even any little bit of results, not even any success accelerators, not even any slight bit of joy. And of course, the investor said, yes, yeah, of course we'll give you the, the investment. So another 12 months investment, after another 10, 11, 12 months, nothing. Back to the investors again. And they got a yes again. So who the hell would keep going here? Two years and no results. So seriously, put yourself in Mel's shoes. You're in debt, up to your eyeballs. You've got to pay these investors back. You've no results. You've years of labor-intensive, repetitive, boring work, and no signs of joy. Not even a little bit of hope. How many more months would you give it here to? Either unmute yourself or put it in the chat box. One answer from everyone. How many more months would you give it here? How many more months would you give it? Two years at this point. How many more months would you give it? Another 12 months, any tickets? Another 12 with the funding, three, we've got 12 again, into the chat box. Okay, so we've got 12s and threes, and Chris is obviously just impatient. <laughs> He's got kids, can't do it. Um, so, 12, 12 months, three months, well he kept going. Year three, no results. Year four, no results. Kept going well past the 12, and then the worst happened. He got no results in year five, and his son, so close with and was part of the crew died when the boat capsized while he was searching for the treasure. Now I can't even come close to imagine the pain of losing a child, the heartbreak, the agony, especially when he died helping help achieve his goal. So who the hell would keep going there? Who the hell would keep going there? Well, well did it. For about after 10 years, he was still there. 15 years, he's still been passed away. 10 years. No results, lost his son. Getting investment was a fresh new problem every day. And then on the 16th year, he found half a billion in gold. 
found the treasure on the 16th year. Now for that much faith, you need three beliefs. To have that much faith in your mission and doing what you're doing, you need three beliefs. Write these down. Number one, the treasure is there. Can you imagine if Mel didn't actually, wasn't actually convinced that the treasure was there? It wouldn't have lasted 16 weeks, never mind 16 years. Second belief, I'll find it. It will be me that finds it. I will find this treasure. Again, if Mel didn't believe that he'd find it, whether it's there or not, he wouldn't have kept going. But number three, and this is most important, when you do find the treasure, it'll be worth it.